I now make a bold statement, the technology is solved. And that's a really cool thing. I mean, we, we have sensors with, with enough vision, we have the algorithms, we have the computing power, we, we have all of it at the right uh, cost points. Now it's really about building a product and building a real business. Professional truck drivers are fantastic, right? And a well-rested, attentive driver is an amazing driver. And so we don't want to compare ourselves and say that drivers are bad, right? Drivers are fantastic. They're amazing professionals in this industry. What we want to do is build a system that mimics them on their absolute best day, right? Every day. As I say, it's, it's you know, we want our truck to drive like, you know, they've had their best night of sleep, best cup of coffee, and their team won the Super Bowl, right? I think about the value for autonomous trucks, right? I think it's, you've got an asset that you can utilize extremely efficient. The cost of deadhead miles or empty miles is much less. The cost of a burning driver hours um, on unproductive time isn't there. Um, so if you've got a truck you can run very hard um, that doesn't need to come home every night. You know, it's extremely important for your fleets today, your shippers today, to really begin to understand the technology. This technology is coming and it's gonna transform this industry. And so the companies who can really get in and partner up with companies like Torque, understand how is it gonna fit into their current ecosystem today. How can we shape and mold a little bit of tomorrow's ecosystem? Because ultimately, it's going to transform their business. And right now is the time to learn and get engaged in that. And now you have groups like Torque and what Peter have done and established these uh, advisory councils. And they've taken a lot of feedback and input. Uh, and you've seen others um, in the OEM space and developers that have really tried to connect with the truckers and the fleets to understand what our challenges are. Because really what we're trying to do as a fleet, we want to solve problems for our shippers and our customers. It's that transparency and also working together and collaborating with ultimately the lawmakers, law enforcement, and the regulators early on so we can influence when the regulations come. And I think it's pretty certain at some point there will be regulations, hopefully on the federal level, that we have certainty how we can uh, respond to them. And with that, I think it's important to take them along and go out and, and educate and communicate that with the public. Mm -hmm.